Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Right. Good afternoon. Graduates, Good afternoon. You mute yourselves, please. Mute or yes. unmute? Did you say mute? Yes, yes please. <laughs> Good afternoon, Good afternoon. everyone. I am Reginald Salter, Assistant Professor of Restorative Dentistry. Howard University College of Dentistry. It is my great honor to welcome you to our virtual honors and awards ceremony. Uh, family, we welcome you in from all across the world. We have people out here visiting from Jamaica, Nigeria, Ghana, uh, Pakistan, even as far as Hawaii. So we welcome you. During the um, program, you will have the opportunity to comment on your son, daughter, or family member's accomplishment in the chat box. We encourage you to do that so that the graduates know that you are here. We hope to have a great ceremony. Um, obviously, this is different for all of us, so bear with us if there are any technical difficulties. But nonetheless, we are here to celebrate these young people who are ready to go out into the world. And though they may not be having the ceremony they want, they are healthcare professionals who know that their true call to duty is beyond this ceremony. So they're eager at the very least to get beyond today and to do what God has called them to do. So we are thankful for them today. At this time, we will now begin our formal program. 
uh, with music by Miss Lynn Rao, who just blessed us with the violin. She will give us our traditional processional music. And then the next voice that you will hear will be that of our fearless leader, Dean Andrea Jackson. Thank you and welcome. Good afternoon, special guests, faculty, staff, family, loved ones, and friends, and especially to the classes of 2020. I am Dr. Andrea Jackson, Dean of the College of Dentistry at Howard University. I have the great privilege of welcoming each of you to witness our virtual honors and awards convocation to celebrate the classes of 2020. Today, we get to honor you and your families for your outstanding accomplishments and wish you well as you transition to become alumni of this great institution and go on and make us very proud. This is a very special and memorable occasion as it is the first of two ceremonies that transitions the student and resident to the professional and specialists in the field of dentistry as healthcare providers. I know that this is not what we envisioned when we thought about this day of completing this outstanding accomplishment. Though it does not replace a live ceremony, we could not let this milestone pass without a celebration as we take extreme pride in honoring your outstanding accomplishments here at the College of Dentistry. We take pride in watching you leave and advance into your profession. Howard is all the better because you have been here leaving your mark and now poised to take your education and training to the world where we are convinced that you will make a difference in providing the much needed health care to others. We are very proud of you and want to share this moment with you and your families today. To the family and friends that joined us today, welcome. We want to thank you for supporting and guiding these young professionals over the course of their studies. It has been a long and arduous road, but they have done it. We have firmly believed that it takes a village to develop a young person into a man or a woman that they are destined to become. We have been happy to partner with you in their development and in celebrating their successes. I also want to take this time to extend a happy Mother's Day greeting to all mothers who are viewing today. May this weekend be especially blessed for you. Enjoy today. I hope you are celebrating big with your families at this important milestone in your lives. The plans are in 2021 that you'll be welcomed back to campus for a face-to-face -face ceremony and we'll be able to walk across the stage. We will celebrate you in person and we will be able to up and you will be able to update us on your accomplishments over the last year. I am proud of each of you looking forward to hearing great things about you and from you as the alumni of the College of Dentistry. Now please welcome Dr. Bernard Richardson, Dean of the Andrew Rankin Memorial Chapel to bring the invocation.
Dean Richardson, are you queued up? Yeah, I'm here. This is a picture. Thank again? you. Mm -hmm. We're in. Let us pray. Most gracious and loving God, in you we live, in you we move, and from you comes every good and perfect gift. We thank you for the gift of this day and the gift of this celebration. We give you thanks for the gift of Howard University's College of Dentistry. We thank you for her rich legacy, for the educators, administrators, and practitioners she has produced and has impacted our nation and the global community. We give thanks for the visionary leadership of Dean Jackson and her outstanding faculty's commitment to excellence and service. We give thanks for the tireless efforts of the staff to provide guidance and support. May they all be inspired by the opportunity that they have had to prepare these graduates to be the very best in their profession. We give thanks for the graduating class of 2020. The quality of their scholarship and their unyielding perseverance have earned them the right to be part of the College of Dentistry's great legacy. They come not alone to this place of achievement. So we thank you for their loved ones whose sacrifices, prayers, and resources have helped to make this day a reality. Oh God, we are mindful of the uniqueness of this moment. We celebrate in the midst of a pandemic. And so we ask, oh God, that you give to the members of the class of 2020 a boldness to believe that they have been called, they have been educated for such a time as this. Lead them now to the places of their callings with courage, utilizing the very best of their minds, their hearts and skills to be healthcare providers during this perilous time. Bless now what our eyes will see, our ears will hear, and our hearts will feel in this glorious celebration. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you, Dean Richardson. Thank you. May we stand where we are at this moment for the rendering of the national anthem. Now we will have greetings from the president of Howard University, Dr. Wayne A.I. Frederick, followed by Dr. Anthony K. Wutaw, our provost and chief academic officer. Congratulations to the 2020 graduates of the Howard University School of Dentistry. I honor you today in recognition of this incredible milestone. You have demonstrated that you can rise to the challenge, adapt to your surroundings, and persevere. Today, you've earned your degree, but more importantly, you have received an education that will allow you to change the world. 
Please know that the thoughts and best wishes of the entire Howard University community are with you and your families. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Dr. Anthony Wuxaw, and I currently serve as the Provost and Chief Academic Officer of Howard University. I want to first greet the parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, and significant others who have supported the graduates. The degrees that they will be receiving belong as much to you as it does to them. To the College of Dentistry, Class of 2020, congratulations on this significant milestone and accomplishment in your life. I know that these are uncertain times and many of you may be wondering what comes next and where your life will be leading. I want to share with you this scripture from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verses 11 through 13. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I wish you all the best as you continue along your life's journey. God has great things planned for you, as I know that there is greatness within each of you. I am confident that you will accomplish amazing things. May God bless each of you as you continue on this next phase on your journey. Thank you, President Frederick and Provost Mutar for those encouraging words. Next, we will have greetings from local and national dental organizations. First, we will have Ms. Brittany Harris, president of the District of Columbia Dental Hygienist Association, followed by Dr. Steven Gutenberg, president of the District of Columbia Dental Society, followed by Dr. Cheryl Baptiste, president of the Robert T. Freeman Dental Society, followed by Dr. Sheila Armstrong, president of the National Dental Association, and then Dr. Andre Dondre Simpson, president of the Howard University College of Dentistry Alumni Association in that order. Ms. Harris. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Brittany Harris, president-elect and legislative committee chair of the District of Columbia Dental Hygienist Association. I bring you sincere greetings on behalf of my professional organization. Thank you, Dean Jackson, staff, friends, family members, and most importantly, the illustrious class of 2020 for allowing me to offer words of congratulations to you today. Graduates, first, I ask you to take a second to be fully present in this moment. Over the past several years, you may have viewed this day as a point of arrival. Like reading ahead in a story, you may have used the anticipation of graduation to guide your choices, motivate your actions, and to bring you hope. Well, I am here to remind you, this is the point of arrival. You made it. This very second is the culmination of your determination and your sacrifice. The past is behind you, the future is imminent, but this moment is most important. With that being said, I want to leave you with a few words of wisdom that I hope will inspire your journey forward. A quote from Aristotle, educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all, end quote. Graduation is a celebration of the successful completion of a course of study. You have proven to your superiors and to the general public that you know the body well enough to provide thorough care to those in need, and more importantly, without hurting anyone. You are intelligent and you have demonstrated that. And today, it is with great ambition, integrity, and self-awareness that I challenge you to create your legacy as a healthcare provider, keeping in mind that although intelligence is a key ingredient, practicing from the heart is what our patients value the most. On this journey forward, 
you must remember five things to effectively practice from the heart. Practice compassion, making a daily commitment to empathy, kindness, and being sensitive to the needs of others. Number two, practice teamwork, remembering that the big picture is impossible to achieve without the contribution of many parts. Number three, practice humility, understanding that providing healthcare is the duty of a public servant. Number four, practice having faith in people, appreciating the fact that change like the growth of a seed does not occur overnight. And number five, and most importantly, always believe in yourself because not even a pandemic could stop you. Congratulations, Howard University Dental and Dental Hygiene Class of 2020. You did it. Good job. Thank you. Hi, good, good afternoon. My name is Stephen Guttenberg. I graduated from dental school in 1969. Brittany, I think that was a great message that you just gave. If you do the math, you'll see that I've been practicing dentistry for 51 years, and it's been great. We have a wonderful profession. I get to do what I love, and I love what I do. Currently, I'm honored to be the president of the District of Columbia Dental Society. I only have a couple of minutes, so I want to give you just a few pointers that I think are important. First of all, take out a little time and just bask in the glow of the wonderful accomplishment you've just made. Enjoy yourself. Just don't overdo it, but breathe it in. Enjoy the moment. Secondly, you should know that you've had a great education and you have a tremendous amount of knowledge right now. But dentistry is a profession that's always changing. It's always in flux. There are always changes going on. There are going to be novel techniques, materials, instrumentation being developed. If you don't keep up with that, profession is going to just pass you right by. So my suggestion is you make sure you get good continuing education wherever you happen to get it and do it on a regular basis. Don't rest on your laurels. This commencement marks the end of your dental school career, but it's the beginning of lifelong learning, which you need to do. Third, I'm going to put in a little pitch to make sure you join organized dentistry, like the ADA or your local dental society. If you're not one of these organizations, you're not going to be part of dentistry moving forward. And the way if you belong to these organizations, at least you're going to have a voice in the future. I think that's very important. For example, if you join our local DC Dental Society and the ADA, you can have monthly continuing education letter, le lectures that will enable you to meet your DC licensure requirements. In addition, these meetings provide great network networking with your local colleagues, with the ones you know and the ones you don't know. And some of the older people who are chronologically challenged like me, you can be maybe and learn things that you weren't aware of. And if you're looking for a job, there may be people who have those jobs offered too. The networking is another positive advantage. Uh, with the American Dental Association, you have access to 10,000 of the latest journals and textbooks, not to mention the evidence-based resources guidelines on uh, caries, antibiotics, including COVID-19. Another thing that may be of interest to you, if anyone has a, a loan on your dental school uh, studies, uh, with the ADA, if you refinance your loans, you're going to get a quarter of a percent off that refinancing. And if you're going into private practice, you get a half of a percent off. In addition, you get cut rates on insurance, 401k plans, a lot of other member-only discounts. And fourth, you've just graduated from one of the best dental schools in the United States. Your tuition will see me like it's a lot of money, and it is. It doesn't come close to covering the entire cost of what it costs to, uh, for you people to be educated. So where does the rest of that money come from? Well, some of it from grants, some of it from the government, but a lot of it comes from people like you and me, graduates of our dental schools. Uh, I know that it's not easy to think about giving money right now because of the fact that you don't have a lot, but just think about this. If each one of the people in the graduating class gave $100 in their first year, that only 27 cents a day, what a difference that would make. Would you be doing good for the school, for the paying for it, for the students that you're friends with now? And you're doing something great for the profession. And I think you'll really feel good about it. And as you progress in, in 
uh, your careers, you'll have a few more bucks to throw at the school. And I think you'll find that it's money very well spent. So in closing, I just once again want to wish you my very best wishes and my congratulations. You did a great job. Be well. Thank you, Dr. Guttenberg. You are one of my mentors. Good morning, Dean Jackson, fellow deans, fellow colleagues who are speaking today, distinguished faculty, family, the mothers, and the hygienists and doctors of the class of 2020. I bring greetings from the Robert T. Freeman Dental Society, which is the founding and DC chapter of the National Dental Association. 60 years ago, I was born on Howard's campus at Freedman's Hospital, which is now the Kathy Hughes School of Communications. My mother was a graduate of Howard University. My father graduated from Howard University College of Dentistry in 1958. I'm a product of the 1984 class of the Howard University College of Dentistry. So Howard will always be my home. I can honestly say that as I have gotten to know so many of you over the last four years, I am absolutely beaming with pride as I have observed your professionalism, unity, creativity, adaptive skills, and generosity on your mission trips. As hygienists and oral physicians, we are the gatekeepers of the divine body that the creator has given us. Remember that there is a connection between oral health, coronary heart disease, peripheral artery disease, diabetes, pregnancy complications, respiratory infections, osteoporosis, rheumatoid arthritis, joint and organ health, H. pylori, chronic kidney disease, and so on. You have been given guiding principles to equip you to serve our communities and our vulnerable, vulnerable populations. In this historic time, remember that working in our field is not just a job for a paycheck. This is a profession that has historically built leaders, and you've heard from several of them already. We are known for human compassion. What is going on around us can be a distraction, but you are here for a purpose. In your quiet moments, consider what is truly important to humanity. Some adversity can be tests to show you the strength inside of you. Find and know your mission or purpose in this life. Grow and challenge each other for excellence as you have been doing. Seek and use your mentors. We are passionate to teach what has worked for us and to give caution from our errors. You are our ambassadors. We thrive when we remain committed to organized dentistry, as you just heard Dr. Guttenberg say. Collectively, we lobby for the needs that we know that need to be addressed. In closing, I want to quote my friend, Dr. Stan Harris. Remember to be too glad to be sad, too blessed to be depressed, too anointed to be disappointed, too elated to be agitated. Congratulations. Next, we'll have Dr. Sheila Armstrong. Good afternoon. To the Dean, Dr. Andrea Jackson, to the faculty, and to the many distinguished guests today, and to the families of the graduates. But most importantly, to the 2020 graduating class of Howard University School of Dentistry. I bring you greetings on behalf of the National Dental Association, its executive committee, board of trustees, chairman of the board, Dr. Cheryl Lee, Executive Director, Ms. Lavette Henderson, and all of the National Dental Association family organizations. 
I am honored to be here with you today. Being at your graduation and sharing this experience with you was definitely going to be one of the highlights of my year as president of the National Dental Association. While I would have loved to have been with you in Washington, DC, again, I am honored to be with you virtually. I am here today to first of all, welcome you into one of the most, if not the most satisfying careers on earth. I can say that today because 30 years ago, I entered this career and I have never had a day of regret. I can honestly say I have loved every day of my career and I have lived my life's dream. You too will say that, that entering dental school four years ago was the best decision of your life. I'm also here to welcome you into the National Dental Association where we promote oral health equity among people of color by harnessing the collective power of its members, advocating for the needs of and mentoring dental students of color and raising the profile of the profession in our communities. The National Dental Association is proud of your accomplishments today. And you will be further recognized and formally inducted into the National Dental Association at the NDA signing day. Today, my fellow doctors and hygienists, it's all about you. It's all about what you want to do now and where you want to do it. Whatever you decide and wherever you decide to do it, you will be a success. And how do I know that? I know this because you have demonstrated something that many people cannot proclaim. You have demonstrated discipline and perseverance. You have stayed the course, you have finished the race, and now you will re reap the reward. I applaud you for your accomplishments thus far. And I know that you will be rising to the next level. The National Dental Association congratulates you and welcomes you. Thank you. Dr. Dondre Simpson. Thank you, Dean Jackson. Hope you're doing well. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, greetings to the president, Frederick, uh, my illustrious dean, uh, Andrea Jackson, uh, all faculty and staff. But most importantly, welcome uh, my new alumni, uh, the class of 2020. This is such a gracious day, such a Memorial Day for us to, uh, in the midst of all the challenges that we've been facing recently, uh, don't let none of those challenges uh, hamper the joy that you should feel in being where you all have accomplished today. Also your families, uh, I do agree that you, you could not have gotten here without uh, your families, your support, uh, the good Lord helping you um, I'm just so proud of you. Um, I'm so sad that we I can't be there with you today. We can't be together, but we will literally someday. Um, I'll bring you greetings on behalf of the Howe University College of Dentistry Alumni Association. Uh, I am a class of 99, so divine. Um, my vice president, Dr. Ben Gilbert, class of 94. Our secretary, uh, Nicole Cheek, class of 2014, and my treasurer, Dr. Chad, uh, Jones, class of 2013, brings you greetings. Uh, you have joined Howard a few years ago, some a year ago, two years ago, four years ago, and you became part of this family. And that's just it. We are family. Whether you acknowledge it or not, later on, we would hope that you would keep Howard University near and dear to your heart. You chose Howard and Howard chose you. Where well, we would hope that you would keep Howard beloved in your heart, not just financially, that is important. I do agree. But more importantly, I don't look to my mother for money no more. I look for her for support, for the love, for 
what she has done in my life the same way, similar way uh, that I also look at Howard. If it wasn't for Howard University, College of Dentistry, I would not be where I am today. Yes, I could have gone to other schools. Maybe, maybe not. I could have, I would have been where I am today. But the bottom line is I chose Howard, Howard chose me. And I am so uh, indebted to Howard for the rest of my life. And I would hope that you would be too, because we love all alumni from the Alumni Association from Howard. Howard does love you. Yes. Did you have challenges? Sure. We all had challenges when we were in school, just like you did and maybe still do. And Lord knows we're gonna get through these challenges that was unexpected with this pandemic. But just like anything else, we will overcome. We will persevere and we will succeed. So I just ask and beg of you to stay true to yourself, stay true to your God, stay true to your family, but also stay true to Howard University College of Dentistry and Howard University. Because we love you, we care, you are amongst a, uh, a fraternity of select uh, family members now. We will hope that you would stay in touch with each other, as well as with all the new uh, alumni that you do and do not know. We hope as the Alumni Association to, to help you continue to, to have a connection with the dental school, Dean Jackson, the uh, faculty administration, because we want you to help others like you just came out of. Imagine the challenges that you face. Trust me, you were not the first and you will not be the last. So why not reach back like Dr. Goodenberg said, pay it forward, help your school, whether it's with money and or time. Trust me, time sometimes is even more valuable than money. Uh, and so we just ask that you consider that. Go to our alumni page, hucdalumni.com right now, especially since we all at computers and 2020 graduates, please register. It's free. That way we can capture your information and stay in touch with you as you continue to build your career, which we are gonna pray and, and, and wish you so much success and if we can help you in any way, both in at 600 W Street and beyond uh, uh, around the world, there's alumni everywhere. And we just say thank you for choosing Howard. Uh, we hope that you would thank Howard for choosing you for the rest of your life. And we say thank you, God bless, and peace and blessings. Thank you. Thank you all very much for your, for your very inspiring messages to our graduates. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to join us today. We feel very blessed to have you. Next, Dr. Marianne Siwi, president of the Pi Pi chapter of Omicron Kappa Upsilon, will now present the alumni inductees from the class of 2020. Dr. Siwi. Greetings to the president of Howard University, the provost, dental school, Dean Jackson, faculty, family, friends, honorable guests and graduates of the class of 2020. Omicron Kappa Epsilon had its inception at Northwestern University Dental School with the class of 1914. The Dental Honor Society, consisting of dental students and elected faculty members, has admission and membership based upon being the top 12% of the top 20% of the class, as well as scholarship and character. Character, this strong word, character, is because you are what you are and who you are based on your character, mostly 
not your degrees. OKU has a component chapter in every dental school in the United States, Canada, and Puerto Rico. Omicron and Upsilon, the initial letters for the Greek words meaning teeth and health, appear as they should be with the larger symbol alpha, sigma, sorry, symbol for conservation. OKU have a standard for its membership and it reads as follows, to encourage and develop a spirit of emulation among students in dentistry and to recognize in an appropriate manner those who shall distinguish themselves by a high grade of scholarship and compassion. The new inductees for the class of 2020, yes, with this pandemic, everything will be received, keys, stores, and certificate by mail, and they are the following. Rebecca Bibum. Christina Fabi, Andrew Farag, Robert Herman, Helena Hussein, Shannon Manluku, Chantal Peterkin, Sujan Tan. Congratulations to you in the class of 2020. Thank you all and be safe during this pandemic. Bye-bye. Thank you, Dr. Siwi. Congratulations, inductees, on your outstanding accomplishments. You are now among a very select group of dentists that have achieved this honor. Congratulations again. Next, please receive a musical selection by Mr. P.J. Gregory.
Thank you for that wonderful rendition. I am pleased now to introduce our student leaders. Brittany Carter, president of the dental hygiene graduating class, who is here with us, will be first, followed by Mr. Justin Sanders, president of the dental graduating class, and last but not least, Ms. Ibuforo Obanga, our student council president. They are both joining us from their respective homes. Brittany, you're first. Good afternoon to Dean Jackson, Associate Deans, faculty, family, friends, and guests of honor. On behalf of the class of 2020, I say welcome and thank you for celebrating this special occasion with us. Today, we are gathered to celebrate our achievements as a class and to recognize the individual accomplishments of every student. The time together at Howard University has not only provided us with an education, but with the training, mentorship, and guidance, we have become more productive citizens to society. Looking back on the first day of orientation, I remember that we all shared the same expression of nervousness because we didn't know what to expect. However, we eventually found comfort, but that comfort didn't happen overnight. From the many hours in clinic, the countless hours in class, the long nights of studying and the thoughts of doubt, we found the courage to push forward from family and mentorship of our faculty and staff, from our faculty and staff. Our time at Howard University is an experience that many of us will never forget. We have cried together. We have laughed together, served within the community, and now we will embark into the profession of dental care as colleagues and lifelong friends. When we made the decision to attend our beloved university, we each shared a common goal and mission. That goal was not only to become dental hygienists, but to be a part of an honored profession. Sorry. But to be a part of an honored profession and to become alumni of our historic university. I challenged the graduating class of 2020 to not only know the mission, but to be the mission and to live the mission by being the person who finds solutions to, to human problems. We have already taken the first step to contributing, but do not limit your service to the confines of your office. Give back, come back, and be the mentor you once needed. Remember, when you are out in the world, you are no longer only representing you and your family. You are now representing every individual who has come through Howard University. So take pride in that. A great motto to live by is see what happens when you don't give up. I do not promise you an easy journey, but it is up to each one of us to make our dream come true as hygienists, dentists, and specialists. The oral health of our communities will be in good hands. We are all well equipped. Thank you and congratulations to the College of Dentistry 2020 graduates. Please welcome Justin Sanders, president of the graduating dental class. To the president, classmates, professors, staff, family and friends. I am very honored and humbled to share this incredible occasion on behalf of the amazing class of 2020 here at Howard University College of Dentistry. My name is Justin Sanders and I am proud to have served as class president for such a time as this. A time that will be cherished in all our hearts and provide special memories for years to come. When I was elected president, I challenged our class to finish strong. I implored us to leave a strong legacy to this great institution and we continue with big plans, plans of celebrations and outstanding white coat ceremony and yes, there are many plans to turn up HU style. But now I realize there are moments in life that are out of our control and graduating became more than just an expectation, but a prayer. A prayer for many of, many of us from across the nation. COVID-19 tried to steal our joy, but in God we trust. And with that, I stand before you with gratitude and thanksgiving for this moment and opportunity like none before. Thankful for our supportive administration, class leaders, 
faculty and staff that all worked together to ensure we had our day, this day of acknowledgement and commencement. There are many happy memories in life, but the experience of graduating from the top dental school in the nation with some awesome classmates and exceptional professors is by far one of the best. To our professors, thank you, thankful, thank you for a wonderful ride. Your hard work paid off as well for you have produced a class of 69 amazing doctors. Over the years, we all have become colleagues, friends, and family, but for some of us, much more. Congrats to Matthew and Chantal on your engagement. Let me share the words of the late, great Kobe Bryant. The lesson I cherish the most is how important it is to love what you do. If you love what you do and you are happy, all the hard work and perseverance will pay off. You can't stop people from trying to limit your dreams, but you can't stop it from becoming your reality. Your dreams are up to you. I encourage you to always be curious, always seek out things you love, and always work hard when you find it. We will adapt to a new normal in the future that lies ahead. We are blessed to be in a profession where every day we can make a difference in someone's life. It will also be perfectly normal if during all this excitement, you had some fear and anxiety. With the COVID-19 crisis, some things are uncertain. Some things as small as the next steps in our lives. But this is what I say. Let us get motivated and finish what we started. Let us pass our boards, master residencies, and let us be the difference in our careers. We have a lot to be proud of and thankful for. We will be alumni of one of the most prestigious historically black institutions of higher learning in the country and that COVID-19 cannot change. In closing, thank you to all our professors, family and friends who supported us along the way. Classmates, this day is about us. We have completed the longest leg in our journey to become doctors of dental surgery. We started off focused to finish, but now, as your class president, I say our journey has just begun. Enjoy this moment. We deserve it. Let me end by saying, H U, you know. No. Thank you. Now, please welcome E.B. Furo Obanga, president of the College of Dentistry Student Council. Good afternoon, Bison family. My name is E.B. Furo Obanga and I enjoyed the privilege of serving as the Howard University College of Dentistry. Can you all hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, just making sure. Good afternoon, Bison family. My name is Evie Farrell Benga, and I have enjoyed the privilege of serving as the Howard University College of Dentistry Student Council President for the 2019-2020 academic year. Greetings Howard University esteemed administration, President Frederick, Provost Wuto, Dean Jackson, and special guests. Welcome College of Dentistry Associate Deans, faculty, and staff. I would like to extend a very warm welcome to our source of support and motivation, without whom many of us would not be here today. To our family, partners and friends, thank you for joining us. Most importantly, greetings to today's celebrant, the class of 2020. Special thank you to Dr. Salter and the graduation committee for going above and beyond in their efforts in organizing the details of this event. Though virtual, my colleagues and I stand united in spirit. It is my truest honor to address you all for the final time. I would like to open my address with sharing a moment that was personally very special to me. I'm going to try my best to illustrate this mental snapshot. I hope you can recreate, recreate your own visual. I hope the emotion translates. Remember, my degree is in dental surgery, not virtual storytelling. So please bear with me for the next minute as I take us on this slight detour. Seven weeks ago, I went home to Phoenix, Arizona for spring break. Away from all the distractions and stress of school, it was the perfect opportunity to write my speech. After a few days of editing, I had finally assembled almost a year's worth of brainstorm ideas into one cohesive thought. As I rehearsed this draft for the first time, my imagination immediately took over, working in tandem with my words. I was no longer in my parents' living room. 
Suddenly, I was sent a stage at the podium and cramped an auditorium, speaking out to you all. In my opening, I envisioned us bonding over a couple of HECD memories that I'm sure none of us will miss. Memories like the difficulty in deciding to purchase groceries for a few months or a parking pass, which more accurately was the decision to either pretend you like eating chicken and brown rice for weeks or living in constant fear of our cars getting ticketed or towed. And I'm sure we all can remember the unfortunate family emergency, work emergency, or school emergency that so many of our patients mysteriously tended to have on a rainy or snowy DC day. Usually a patient we intended to use for a competency exam, of course. Then followed by the obligatory expression of, I'm happy to reschedule, even though you did all but sell your firstborn child to secure that appointment. Good times, right? <laughs> I imagine sharing a reflection of my personal journey, attributing my success and maintenance of sanity to what I call Ivy's fundamental five Fs. Faith, family, my fiance, friends, and french fries. For those taking notes at home, a furry companion should be a suitable substitute for a fiance. No shade to bay. Finally, I imagine concluding the speech with a charge to the graduates encouraging us to beware the trap of complacency disguised by feelings of accomplished fulfillment that derive from today's achievement of becoming a hygienist, dentist, or specialist. Instead, challenge yourself to redirect the undeniable perseverance, sacrifice, and dedication used to reach this professional milestone back into developing a legacy which exceeds that of just your career choice. Well, in a very literal interpretation of the phrase coming full circle, I'm back in the same exact living room, experiencing a similar moment, only this time around, it's not a rehearsal. While I'll always have an appreciation for the sentiments that I initially prepared for today, they have abruptly become, a, become symbolic of a different time. In such a short period, our reality has shifted and our priorities undoubtedly change. If I'm being truthful, perhaps one of the few things that has remained consistent in this era of uncertainty is the unshakable sense of responsibility I have felt to revise my final remarks to be more accurate and timely representation of our shared experience as a cohort. I cannot think of anything more important, more suitable to discuss than the discoveries I've made about my colleagues in the last 54 days. Resilience, the ability to recover quickly from difficult conditions, persistence, firm continuance and a course of action in spite of opposition, strength, the capacity to withstand situations of events causing great distress. All words I've heard used to describe our class as of late. And after dissecting these definitions, rightfully so. However, in my opinion, they simply don't do enough justice. Over the course of two months, we've suffered the impact of the simultaneous unravelment of the world as a whole and our worlds at home and school. I've observed our outstanding ability to compartmentalize emotions and maintain a professional demeanor in spite of the instability. The total removal of patient interaction had no effect on our, com our commitment to retain clinical proficiency and scholastic excellence. Our aptitude for adaptation, ingenuity, and innovation is unmatched as displayed by the near seamless transition to virtual learning modules. The recent classification as essential workers has greatly elevated the expectation of new graduates. With the reduction of elective care, our first patients as licensed providers will likely be complex cases presenting for emergency treatment, an expectation we've confronted with the utmost courage and confidence. Above all, the most beautiful discovery to witness was revealed in our response to being denied the opportunity to commemorate our life's greatest achievements in the traditional manner. Initial reactions of disappointment and despair evolved into expressions of gratitude and grace. The last 54 days have brought forth unimaginable setbacks. I personally found inspiration in one of the, in one of the best overcomers of our generation, the late great Kobe Bryant. He said, everything negative, pressure, challenges is all an opportunity to rise. Given our present circumstance, class of 2020, I believe we have soared. I would be remiss if I did not credit the extraordinary institution that is the Howard University College of Dentistry for its indisputable role in nurturing matchless character and professional growth in all of us. From day one, we were all taught the official mantra, the Howard Hustle, 
a small phrase carrying great significance. Through my tenure, I have interpreted this as an instillment of values rooted in hard work and diligence. The Howard Hustle means to never accept failure as the final result. No matter the unique individual experiences we've had at HUCD, there is no denying this hustle is ingrained in us and a large part of the clinician we have become. We will all log off today as alumni, joining an elite global network of Howard educated dental professionals. Carry the name with pride and reverence for those who build up the positive reputation we benefit from. As we progress in our careers, let us never forget the duty we have to pour back into the community that poured so much into us. It's the selfless alumni contributions of finances, mentorship, and services that allow Howard to remain the nation's highest producer of minority health professionals, a legacy we can all be proud of. An unprecedented graduation ceremony calls for an unprecedented charge to the graduates. This afternoon, I won't challenge you to change the world. We've all been through enough. My charge for the graduates is simply to join me in reclaiming this day as our own, as we always imagined it to be, not a consolation prize. There is so much to celebrate about each and every one of us. Whether you are the first hygienist or dentist in your family or the fifth, you made it. Whether you will go back home to be a big name in a small town or work tirelessly to make your presence known in a large city, you made it. Whether today's achievement is a testament to the love and support of a plethora of relatives or only to a tiny village, you made it. To all the international students that left their native country chasing a goal you may have never thought was attainable, you made it. And to all the first generation Americans, an embodiment of an immigrant's wildest dreams and unceasing prayers come to fruition, thank you, mommy and daddy, you made it. In closing, I'm so proud to be a member of the class of 2020. For reasons we will never know, life refused to allow us to be allow us to be average. We have endured, what we have endured cannot be compared to any class in recent history and hopefully won't pertain to any class in the future. Our distinction was not given, it was earned. Today we graduate classified in a league of our own. We are the starting lineup, we are the 18. Wear your graduation regalia and white coats today as though they were capes because today we are truly the heroes. Thank you, stay safe and God bless. Thank you very much for your very inspiring speech. You can tell that our student leaders are second to none. They're absolutely wonderful and have left a wonderful mark on this university and this college. And we wish them all the best in their future endeavors. Now we will have greetings from the faculty and staff through a video presentation. Denise Jones from the Howard University College of Dentistry Dean's Office. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Congratulations, graduates of the class of 2020. Congratulations to your families, your loved ones. Wishing you much joy, happiness, and success. God bless. Congratulations, class of 2020, from Dr. Mitchell. Wishing you health, happiness, and much prosperity as you move forward in your careers. You all are a true group of survivors. All the best and peace. Dr. Gould, Associate Dean for Research. Congratulations to class of 2020 and the best wishes for your next adventure. Class of 2020, congratulations today and best wishes for all of your tomorrows from Dr. Bidfield. On behalf of the Department of Dental Hygiene, congratulations, Class of 2020. Congratulations, Class of 2020. 
Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm so proud of each of you. You've worked so hard to get to this moment. Class of 2020, congratulations. Go out there, be thoughtful, purposeful, and compassionate, and never stop learning. You're gonna be just fine. Congratulations to the class of 2020 from the Department of Oral Diagnosis and Radiology. I want to give a big heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2020. You guys deserve it. You have done your best, and I'm very proud of you. All the best in the future. To the class of 2020, never doubt that you were born to do great things. Now get to it. Wishing you many blessings and much success. Congratulations. Hi, it's Ms. Craney here. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. I'm so very proud of each and every one of you. You encountered so many stumbling blocks over this past year, but with God's help, you guys were able to turn them into stepping stones. I know you guys will go on to do great things. I'm so proud of you guys again, and congratulations. Much success for the future. Bye. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Extremely proud of all of you, and I wish you all the best. I want to congratulate you all on your accomplishments thus far and know that you'll be very successful in the future. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations from Dr. Bishop, Department of Restorative Dentistry. To the class of 2020, always remember there's no limit to what you can achieve. Hi, this is Dr. Jillian Robinson Warner coming from you uh, from the Restorative Department, wishing the class of 220 much love, success. Welcome to the wonderful field of dentistry. Love you guys. This is the 10th time that I record this. It's better come out good. Hi, class of 2020. Congratulations on your achievements. Greetings, class of 2020. This is Dr. Rhodes. I just wanted to take a minute and congratulate all of you. I know this year was filled with many trials and tribulations, but in the end, you persevered. Good luck and Godspeed to all of you in your future endeavors. You now have your wings. Now let me see you soar. God bless. To the class of 2020, you have my heartfelt congratulations and best wishes for much success in your careers. Remember to embrace education through lifelong learning. May God continue to bless you. Congratulations again. Dr. Craig Butler, Department of Prosthodontics. Congratulations to the class of 2020 for reaching this amazing milestone in your life. I wish you continued success. Class of 2020, congratulations on your amazing accomplishments from Dr. Cherry Peppers. Wishing you great success. Congratulations, class of 2020. I wish you all the best. It was a pleasure being your oral surgery professor. I'm proud of you and I'm sure you all do well. Bye-bye. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm so glad to finally have you join me on the wall. Listen as you guys prepare to leave the nest. I pray that the good Lord will provide clear skies for you to always guide your journey. I pray that he will provide strong winds to lift you up when you need it. And I want you to know that you always have safe landings right here at Howard and also in my home. I'm proud of you. I'll miss you. Stay in touch. Onward and upward. Hi, 
Hi, this is Dr. Sonia, and I just wanted to send my heartfelt congratulations to the HUCD class of 2020. I hope that success follows each and every one of you and all of your future endeavors. Please remember that you are still a part of our HUCD family, and I know you will make us proud. Stay safe, stay strong. Uh, greetings. Um, I'd like to congratulate all the graduates of 2020, and specifically Module 2. Great job. This is a very important uh, step in your development as professionals, and I want to congratulate you all. Good job, and good luck in the future. That was wonderful. Um, very uh, thoughtful and very um, heartfelt. Congratulatory uh, video for our students. I know you will cherish this. Now, um, it is time that we're all here waiting for to introduce and honor our graduates. We'll start with the dental hygiene graduates, um, with Professor Dawn Smith and Professor Sandra Osborne. They will present the dental hygiene students, graduates. Good afternoon, Dean Jackson, associate deans, distinguished guests, College of Dentistry faculty and staff, family, alumni, and friends, I present to you the Dental Hygiene Class of 2020. Alam Ali. To Alam Ali, the Howard University Dental Hygiene Academic Achievement Award, a certificate presented to the graduating dental hygiene student who has maintained exemplary scholastic achievement, community service involvement, and professional demeanor in the two years of study. Congratulations. Nancy Ayala. To Nancy Ayala, the Howard University Department of Dental Hygiene Service Award, a certificate given to the graduating dental hygiene student who has demonstrated compassion and tenacity in providing oral health services to the community. Congratulations. Quintess Bond. To Quintess Bond, the Colgate Award and engraved nameplate presented to the graduating dental hygiene student who demonstrates dedication and enjoyment of the dental hygiene profession, exhibits compassion in patient care, and shows enthusiasm for community service. To Quintess Bond, the Howard University Student American Dental Hygienist Association Leadership Award, a certificate and a gift presented to a graduating dental hygiene student in recognition of leadership and service as president of the Howard University Student American Dental Hygienist Association. Congratulations. Brittany Carter. To Brittany Carter, the Washington Dental Studio Award in memory of Terry Kills Shropshire, a plaque and a monetary gift given to the graduating dental hygiene student who consistently demonstrated compassion and sensitivity in the delivery of oral health services. Melissa Hebron. To, uh, to Melissa Hebron, the Alicia M. Howard Memorial Award, a plaque and a monetary gift presented to the graduating dental hygiene student mm -hmm. who has shown the initiative, diligence, and interest in the treatment of patients and who has demonstrated by her firmness of character that she will promote the ideals of her profession. Can I? Congratulations. Nazila. Nazila Hussein. Nazila Hussein, the Hugh Freedy Golden Scaler Award presented to a graduating dental hygiene student showing the greatest proficiency 
in the performance of clinical dental hygiene services. Congratulations. Tan Tran. To Tan Tran, the Louise C. Ball Memorial Award, a plaque presented to the graduating dental hygiene student who has maintained superior scholastic achievement during the dental hygiene training. Congratulations. Alina Vo. To Alina Vo, the Raymond L. Hayes Award, a monetary award presented to the graduating dental hygiene student showing the greatest proficiency in the performance of clinical oral prophylaxis. Congratulations. Isaiah Williams. To Isaiah Williams, the Department of Dental Hygiene Humanitarian Award, a plaque presented to the graduating dental hygiene student who has shown dedication and service to all people in the improvement of the oral health services. Congratulations. I like we will now have Professor Sandra Osborne, Howard University College of Dentistry Dental Hygiene alumna, lead the dental hygiene oath. Dental hygiene class of 2020, please stand. Raise your, raise your right hand and recite the dental hygiene oath. In my practice, practice as a dental, dental hygienist, hygienist I, I affirm my, my personal, personal and, professional and professional commitment, commitment to, to improve, improve the oral health, health of, the of the public, to advance, to advance the arts art and, and science of dental of hygiene, hygiene and, to, and promote to promote high standards, high standards of quality, quality care. care. I, I pledge continually to improve my professional, my professional knowledge and skills, and skills to, render to render a full measure of, measure service, of service to, to each, each patient, patient entrusted, entrusted to my, my care. care and, and to, to uphold the highest, highest standards, standards of professional, professional competence, competence and, personal and personal conduct in the, the interest, interest of the dental, the dental hygiene, hygiene profession and, and the, the public. public it serves. Thank you. As future dental hygienists, it is an expectation that you exhibit professionalism, competence and provide quality care to every patient you treat. I charge you to carry out the university tradition in truth and service in all that you do. Remember, to whom much is given, much is required. The Department of Dental Hygiene is proud of you. The College of Dentistry is proud of you. You are a valued member of the dental team and cadre of health professionals. Serve your future places of employment with confidence and tolerance. Serve your communities with empathy and respect. And never forget the support of your family and friends in this milestone. Congratulations. And now please welcome Dr. Tanya Greenfield, Director of Operations and Strategic Planning, and Dr. Candace Mitchell, Interim Associate Dean of Clinical Affairs, to present the candidates for doctorate in dental surgery. Dr. Greenfell. Good afternoon. It is with great pleasure that I present the candidates for Doctor of Dental Surgery. Ula Abueta. To Ula Abueta, the Whitmix Corporation Certificate to the graduating dental student who has excelled in the study and clinical application of prosthodontics. 
the American Association of Endodontists Award, a certificate to the graduating dental student who has shown a broad interest in endodontics and demonstrated more involvement than is required, and an award of distinction from the Department of Prosthodontics, a plaque given to a graduating dental student who participated in the Senior Prosthodontic Honors Program. Congratulations. Andikan Akpabio. Andikan Akpabio is inspired by the great Nelson Mandela. He believes the greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Congratulations. Arlene Asante. To Arlene Asante, the Christian Medical Dental Association Helping Hands Award, a bronze statue given in recognition of the student healthcare professional who continually glorifies God by delivering care for people while serving with excellence and compassion, exemplifies stellar character and leadership, and advances ethical pr principles of healthcare both locally and internationally. Congratulations. Layla Azam. Layla Azam believes from the Quran, for indeed with hardship comes ease. Indeed, oh, indeed with hardship comes ease. Congratulations. Rebecca B. Bibbum. To Rebecca Bibbum, the American Association of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgeons Award, a certificate to the graduating dental student with high academic standing and outstanding performance in undergraduate study and clinical training in the area of oral and maxillofacial surgery and anesthesiology, and the International Congress of Oral Implantologists Pre-Doctoral Student Achievement Award presented to the graduating dental student who has displayed the greatest interest and accomplishment in oral implantology, implant dentistry. Congratulations. Danny Bashara. Danny Bashara is inspired by Alexander the Great. There is nothing impossible to him who will try. Congratulations. Shannon K. Blair. Shannon Blair shares a quote from Lewis Carroll. One of the deep secrets of life is that all that is, is really worth the doing is what we do for others. Congratulations, Shannon. Andreas Boshra. Andreas Boshra shares a, a quote from Aristotle. Courage is the first of human qualities because it is the quality which guarantees the others. It is the greatest quality of the mind next to honor. Congratulations. Jawar Brown. To Jawar Brown, the Georgetta Manning Cox Dental Outreach Award, a plaque awarded to a graduating dental student for excellence in the field of community dentistry and for leadership and dedication to dental outreach programs. Congratulations. John Bushrod. To John Bushrod, the Quintessence Award for Research a certificate of merit and a one-year complimentary subscription to Quintessence International to the graduating dental student who has shown outstanding achievement in dental research and the Christian Medical Dental Association Helping Hands Award, a bronze statue given in recognition of the student healthcare professional who continually glorifies God by delivering care for people while striving with excellence and compassion exemplifies character, leadership, and advances the principles of healthcare both locally and internationally. Congratulations. Shauna A. Butler. Shauna A. Butler believes, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. From Philippians 4.13. Congratulations. 
Angelica Celestine. Angelica Celestine is inspired by Michelle Obama. Instead of letting your hardships and failures discourage or exhaust you, let them inspire you. Let them make you even hungrier to succeed. Congratulations. Winnie S. Charles. Congratulations and all the best for your future endeavor endeavors. Andrew Chun. Andrew Chun is inspired by a cinematic quote, carpe diem, seize the day boys, make your lives extraordinary. Congratulations. Coralie Cicerone. To Coralie Cicerone, the Eleanor J. Bushy Senior Student Award from the American Association of Women Dentists a certificate given to the graduating female dental student who has demonstrated academic excellence and outstanding, outstanding leadership and outstanding community services award to the senior dental student who displayed outstanding leadership and commitment to provide services to the HUCD community. Nada El Sadi. To Nada El Sadi. The International College of Dentist to the, the International College of Dentist Award to the graduating dental student who has demonstrated significant leadership and exemplary character traits when participating in humanitarian service or projects, and the Pierre Fauchon Academy Award to the outstanding graduating dental student who has exhibited academic excellence and leadership and appears to be dedicated to the advancement of dentistry through service. Congratulations. Akia Everett. Akia Everett finds inspiration in the Maya Angelou quote, if you find it in your heart to care for somebody else, you will have succeeded. Congratulations. Obina Izigi. Obina Izigi sums it up with TGIF, <laughs> God I'm fresh. Congratulations. Christina M. Bobby. Um, let's see, I'm sorry, to Christina M. Bobby, the Temporal Mandibular Disorder Occlusal Appliance Award to the graduating dental student who has attained excellence in the clinical aspects of TMD occlusion and prosthodontics. Congratulations. Andrew Farrakh. To Andrew Farrakh, the Dean's Award to a graduating dental student in recognition of superior academic achievement, excellence in clinical skills, and exemplary character. The Northeastern Society of Periodontists Award, a certificate which recognizes an outstanding graduating dental student in the discipline of periodontics. An award of distinction from the Department of Prosthodontics, a plaque given to a graduating dental student who participated in the Senior Prosthodontics Honors Program and the Division of Restorative Dentistry Award, a plaque awarded to the graduating dental student who has shown skill, ability, and commendable performance in both the theoretical examinations and in the clinical performance of restorative dentistry. Congratulations. Maida Farouk. To Maida Farouk, the Excellence in, in Endodontics Department Award a certificate to the graduating student who has demonstrated a high level of dedication, leadership, humane attributes, and unyielding clinical excellence in endodontics, and the, e, the Dr. E. Preston Lee Award given by his family to the senior female dental student who demonstrated the greatest proficiency in operative dentistry. Oluwatobi. Fatunbi. Olawa Fatunbi shares with us, you may not control all the events that happen to you, but you can decide not to be reduced by them. And that's by Maya Angelou. Congratulations. Now, please welcome Dr. Zinpin Gu, Associate Dean for Research. Dr. Gu.
Joseph Fernandez. Joseph, Joseph Fernandez is inspired by Psalm 34, 4. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Congratulations. Whitney G. Giles. To Whitney Giles, the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificate presented at colleges and universities in all 50 states to recognize the student ambassador who has for three years or more demonstrated commendable leadership, commitment to their school, their fellow students, and to the community. Congratulations. Robert S. Herman. To Robert Herman, the Howard University College of Dentistry Evening Clinic Award in recognition of collegiality, leadership, and community spirit. Congratulations. Helena Hussein. To Helena Hussein, the Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Pathology Award given in honor of outstanding excellence and top performance in oral and maxillofacial pathology, the Dr. H. Norton Duhaney Award in Fixed Prosthodontics, a plaque given by the department members to the graduating dental student who has consistently exhibited high skills, standards, and perseverance in addition to a questioning mind for the pursuit of excellence, and the American Academy of Aesthetic Dentistry Award, a plaque and a one-year subscription to the official journal of aesthetic and restorative dentistry to the graduating dental student who has demonstrated the most clinical proficiency and greatest interest in aesthetic dentistry. Congratulations. Ola Yanka Egon. To Ola Yanka Egon, the excellence an endodontics department award, a certificate to the graduating student who has demonstrated a high level of dedication, leadership, humane attributes, and unyielding clinical excellence in endodontics. Congratulations. Sarato Ayama. Saratu Iyama would like to extend her sincerest gratitude to her family, friends, and faculty for their support. Above all, thank you, God, for seeing me through. Congratulations, Saratu Ayamaya. Ayamaya. Fanshan James. Fanshan James shares, as long as you know that God is for you, it doesn't matter who is against you. Romans 8.31. Congratulations. Como Giovanni. To Kamal Giovanni, the Excellence in Endodontics Department Award, a certificate to the graduating student who has demonstrated a high level of dedication, leadership, humane attributes, and unyielding clinical excellence in endodontics. Congratulations. Akenjo John Johnson. To Akenjo Johnson, the Excellence in Endodontics Department Award or Certificate to the Graduating Student who has demonstrated a high level of dedication, leadership, humane attributes, and unyielding clinical excellence in endodontics. The American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificate presented at colleges and universities in all 50 states to recognize the student ambassador who has for three years or more demonstrated commendable leadership, commitment to their school, their fellow students, and to the community. The award of distinctions from the Department of Prosthodontics, a plaque given to a graduating dental student who participated in Senior Prosthodontics Honors Program. The Washington Dental Studio Award, a plaque given to the graduating dental student who has demonstrated excellence in aesthetic dentistry. The Frank M. Laparolary Memorial Award given by his family to the senior student demonstrating exceptional ability in oral and maxillofacial surgery. And the Quintessence Award in Restorative Dentistry, a certificate and a one-year subscription to the Quintessence International, the graduating dental student who has attained excellence in the clinical aspects of restorative dentistry. Congratulations. Jennifer M. Jones. 
to Jennifer M. Jones, the Georgetta Manning Cox Dental Outreach Award, a plaque awarded to a graduating dental student for excellence in the field of community dentistry and for leadership and dedication to dental outreach programs. Lena Kang. Lena Kang finds inspiration in the quote, follow your dreams, they know the way. Kobe Yamada, congratulations. Mohammed Khan. Mohammed Khan believes with every hardship there is ease. From Quran 94 5-6. Congratulations. Storm Kimbro. To Storm Kimbro, the American Student Government Association honor cords and certificates presented at colleges and universities in all 50 states to recognize the student ambassador who has for three or years or more demonstrated commendable leadership, commitment to their school, their fellow students and to the community. And the Quintessence Award in Periodontics, a certificate of merit and a one year complimentary subscription to Quintessence International to the graduating dental student who has shown outstanding achievement in periodontics. Congratulations. Akshay Kalori. Akshay Kalori believes happiness can be found in the darkest of times if only if one only remembers to turn on the light. Albus Dumbledore. Congratulations. Ernie V. Kukarni. Urvi Kukarni finds that we are responsible for our own destiny. What matters is how we improve ourselves from this moment forward. Dais Daisaku Ikeda, congratulations. Please welcome Dr. Donna Grant Mears, Associate Dean for Student Affairs. It is an honor to continue the presentation of the student doctoral experience. Victoria Linish. To Victoria Linish. The Excellence in Endodontics Department Award, a certificate to the graduating student who has demonstrated a high level of dedication, leadership, humane attributes, and an unyielding clinical excellence in endodontics, and the American Associ Association of Dental Public Health, an award to the graduating senior who has demonstrated a special interest and achievement in community dentistry and dental public health. Congratulations. Kelsey N. Lewis. Kelsey Lewis shares a Chinese proverb with us. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Congratulations. Amna I. Malik. Amna I. Malik shares a quote from Quran 57.4, and he, God, is with you wherever you are. Congratulations. Shannon M. Manluku. To Shannon Manluku, the American College of Prosthodontist Predoctoral Student Prosthodontic Achievement Award to the graduating dental student for prosthodontic accomplishments during their dental school education. Congratulations. Chelsea B. Manns. Chelsea Manns shares a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Congratulations. Laiba Masood. Laiba Masood is inspired by Prophet Muhammad. 
peace be upon him. What has reached you was never meant to miss you, and what has missed you was never meant to reach you. Congratulations. Matthew D. McLeod. To Matthew D. McLeod, the American Student Government Association Honor Cards and Certificate presented at colleges and universities in all 50 states to recognize the student ambassador who has for three years or more demonstrated commendable leadership, commitment to their school, their fellow students, and to the community, and the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry, a certificate of merit to the graduating dental student who has shown the most promise in pediatric dentistry. Congratulations. Prince B. Moses. To Prince B. Moses, the Excellence in Endodontics Department Award, a certificate to the graduating student who has demonstrated a high level of dedication, leadership, humane attributes, and an unyielding clinical excellence in endodontics. Congratulations. Nadia Mossad. Nadia Mossad would like to say thank you to my family, friends, and classmates for their support and encouragement throughout this journey. Thank you, Nadia Mossad, and congratulations. Tatum Newbill. To Tatum Newbill, the American Student Government Association Award and Honor Court and Certificate presented at colleges and universities in all 50 states to recognize the student ambassador who has for three years or more demonstrated commendable leadership, commitment to their school and their fellow students and to the community. And the Dental Primary Care Award, an award for the senior who has demonstrated excellence and outstanding clinical proficiency in the delivery of dental education and services to underserved populations, the Howard University College of Dentistry Evening Clinic Award in recognition of collegiality, leadership, and community spirit, and the American Student Dental Association Award of Excellence presented to the graduating dental student who is recognized for a superior level of involvement, leadership, and service to peers, school, and the community. Congratulations. Bach Wynn. Bach Wen would like to say, I thank my family for their sacrifice and support and my teachers for their guidance and wisdom. Without them, I would not be able to stand tall today. Congratulations. Denise Ijoma Noehi. To Denise Ijoma Noehi, the Excellence in Endodontics Department Award, a certificate to the graduating student who has demonstrated a high level of dedication, leadership, humane attributes, and unyielding clinical excellence in endodontics. Congratulations. Ibifuro Obanga. So Ibifuro Obanga the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificate presented at colleges and universities in all 50 states to recognize the student ambassador who has for three years or more demonstrated commendable leadership, commitment to their school and their fellow students and community. And the American College of Dentist Awards presented to the graduating dental student for outstanding professionalism, ethics and leadership. Congratulations. Olu Rotime Ogandipe. Olu Rotime Ogandipe quotes the late Tupac Shakur, if you can make it through the night, there's a brighter day. Congratulations. Oyendamole Olusheye. Two, Oyendamola Olusheye, the American Association of Orthodontics Award, a certificate of merit to the graduation dental student who has demonstrated exceptional interest in the development of the oral facial complex. Congratulations. 
Iria A. Ando Bingo. Two, I'm, I'm sorry. Aria A. Ando Bingon shares from Brigham Young, you educate a man, you educate a man. You educate a woman, you educate a generation. Congratulations. Bethel Ozumba. To Bethel Ozumba, the American Academy of Periodontology Award, a personalized certificate awarded to the graduating dental student who has displayed outstanding performance in periodontics, and the E. Preston Lee Award, the Dr. E. Preston Lee Award, given by his family to the senior male student who demonstrated the greatest proficiency in operative dentistry. Congratulations. Chantal S. Peterkin. To Chantal S. Peterkin, the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificate presented at colleges and universities in all 50 states to recognize the student ambassador who has for three years or more demonstrated commendable leadership, commitment to their school, their fellow students, and to the community and the American Academy of Oral and Maxillofacial Radiology, a certificate to the graduating dental student who has demonstrated a special interest and accomplishments in oral and maxillofacial radiology. Congratulations. Moiza Rajan. To Moiza Meru Rajan, the Percy A. Fitzgerald Memorial Award, a plaque given by the Department of Prosthodontics to a graduating dental student who has demonstrated outstanding achievement in clinical fixed prosthodontics, and the American Association of Endodontists Award, a certificate to the graduating dental student who has shown a broad interest in endodontics and demonstrated more involvement than is required, and the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificate presented at College and Unit colleges and universities in all 50 states to recognize the student ambassador who has for three years or more demonstrated commendable leadership, commitment to their school, their fellow students, and to the community. Congratulations. Jonathan E. Rodney. To Jonathan E. Rodney, the American Student Government Association Honor Cords and Certificate presented at colleges and universities in all 50 states to recognize the student ambassador who has for three years or more demonstrated commendable leadership, commitment to their school, their fellow students, and to the community. The Excellence in Endodontic Department Award, a certificate to the graduating student who has demonstrated a high level of dedication, leadership, humane attributes, and unyielding clinical excellence in endodontics, and the Christian Medical Dental Association Helping Hands Award, a bronze statue given in recognition of the student healthcare professional who continually glorifies God by delivering care for people while serving with excellence and compassion, exemplifies stellar character and leadership, and advances ethical pr principles of healthcare both locally and internationally. Congratulations. Rebecca Sammy. Rebecca Sammy shares from Henry Ford. Whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. Congratulations. Justin D. Sanders. To Justin D. Sanders, Outstanding Community Services Award to the senior dental student who displayed outstanding leadership and commitment to provide services at the HUCD, to the HUCD community, and the International College of Dentists Award presented to the graduating senior dental student who has demonstrated core values of integrity, leadership, and service, and the District of Columbia Dental so and from the District of Columbia Dental Society in recognition for outstanding contributions to the Howard University College of Dentistry Class of 2020. Congratulations. Daniel I. Santa Cruz. Daniel I. Santa Cruz shares with us a quote from Mahatma Gandhi. Liz, live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. Congratulations. 
Tuan on Kim Ta. From, from Tuan Ta, a quote from Pele, success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing or learning to do. Congratulations. Sue Jane Tan. Sue Jane Tan shares a quote from Albert Einstein, in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. Congratulations. Kanisha Talbert. Kanisha L. Talbert is inspired by Matthew 21, 22. And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. Congratulations. Lok Tong. Lok Tong shares a quote from the late great Kobe Bryant. Heroes come and go, but legends are forever. Congratulations. Rachel L. Williams. To Rachel L. Williams, the Dent Supply Serona Merit Award to the graduating dental student who is outstanding in removable prosthodontics and the District of Columbia Dental Society Award in recognition for outstanding contributions to Howard. And I, I want to go back and state I missed Sue Jane Tan's awards and I want to get a chance to uh, give those to her. So to Sue Jane Tan, the American Association of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgeons Award, a certificate to the graduating dental student who has shown outstanding performance in the area of dental implant placement, and the Lily M. Mitchell Memorial Award given by Dr. William P. Mitchell Jr. in memory of his mother to the graduating dental student who was an academic reinforcement program participant and who has shown the most promise in being outstand an outstanding general dentist. And congratulations to you both. Joseph I. Wright, Jr. Joseph I. Wright, Jr. shares with us, everyone smiles in the same language, George Carlin. Pragnia Yerusu. Pragnia Yerusu. To Pragnia Sarusu, the Dr. I. Langston Manley Award given by his family to the graduating senior who has shown outstanding achievement in operative dentistry and the Excellence in Endodontics Department Award, a certificate to the graduating student who has demonstrated a high level of dedication, leadership, humane attributes, and unyielding clinical excellence in endodontics. Congratulations. Tariq A. Youssef. To Tariq A. Youssef shares with us, to understand the heart and mind of a person, look not at what he has already achieved, but at what he aspires to do. Khalil Gibran. Congratulations and congratulations to you all. At this time, I would like to welcome back Professor Sandra Osborne, from the Department of Dental Hygiene. Yes, yes, I, I uh, apologize. I missed one of Brittany Carter's awards. She's the president of the dental hygiene class. And um, it's to Brittany Carter, the Howard University Dental Hygiene Student Leadership Award, a plaque and a gift presented to a graduating dental hygiene student in recognition of her leadership and service as president of the dental hygiene class of 20, 2020. Congratulations, Ms. Carter. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Osborne, and congratulations to all the dental hygiene and pre-doctoral candidates. At this time, I am pleased to welcome Dr. Christian King, Director of Postdoctoral Education.
Dr. Keating. Good afternoon, Dean Jackson, distinguished guests, faculty, graduates, and families. I add my voice to the chorus of congratulations to the graduating classes of 2020. In dental hygiene, doctor of dental surgery, and postdoctoral programs. Go out there with confidence because you have received the best education at Howard. Practice your profession with competence and, and compassion. I wish you well and God's blessings. Dean Jackson, on behalf of all the postdoctoral programs directors, it is indeed a privilege to present to you the postdoctoral candidates for proficiency certificates in advanced education in general dentistry. I present Dr. Mariam Hosenpour. Dr. Mariam Hosenpour, we're wishing you continued success. Congratulations. Dr. Vijay Maheshwari. Dr. Vijay Maheshwari, congratulations and much continued success. Dr. Yara Mohammed. Two. Dr. Yara Haj Mohammed, the Advanced Education and General Dentistry Postdoctoral Award in recognition of academic excellence, reliability, exemplary work ethic, and dedication to the dental profession. Congratulations. Presenting the candidates for pediatric dentistry. Dr. Deja Alexander. Two, Dr. Deja Alexander, the Pediatric Dentistry Award given by Tashora Sharif to the postdoctoral resident who has achieved the highest academic average during the two years of postdoctoral study. Congratulations. Dr. Shadin Afaki. Dr. Shadin Alfaki, congratulations and much continued success. Dr. Alexis Gilliam. Dr. Alexis Gilliam, correct, congratulations and much success on your journey. Dr. Brandon Goodlow. To Dr. Brandon Goodlow, the Pediatric Dentistry Leadership Award given by Dr. Felicia Goins to the postdoctoral resident who has demonstrated academic excellence and outstanding leadership as chief resident. Congratulations. Dr. Raven Wilson. To Dr. Raven Wilson, congratulations and much continued success. Now presenting the graduates in the Department of Orthodontics program. Dr. Karsten Craven. Dr. Karsten Craven, congratulations, much continued success. Dr. Trenton David Heiser. Two, Dr. Trenton James David Heiser, the Orthodontic Department Award to the postdoctoral resident who has served as chief resident during his second year of postdoctoral study. Congratulations. Dr. Bianca M. Frederick. Two, Dr. Bianca Maureen Frederick, the Orthodontic Department Award presented to the postdoctoral resident who has demonstrated superior performance in postgraduate research. Congratulations. Dr. Spencer Joseph. Dr. Spencer Joseph, 
Congratulations and much continued success on your journey. Dr. Janelle McQueen. Dr. Janelle McQueen, continued success and congratulations. Dr. Omosede Osagidi. To Dr. Omosegi Osadegi, the Orthodontic Postdoctoral Award in Biomechanics given by Dr. Jerry Thomas to the postdoctoral resident who has demonstrated superior clinical performance in orthodontics. Congratulations. Dr. Ruben Viloria. Dr. Ruben Viloria, congratulations and many well wishes on your journey. Now presenting the candidates in general practice residency program. Dr. Mesam Shaeg. Dr. Mesam Shaeg, congratulations and well wishes on your journey. Dr. Ahmad Ab Abdel Hamid. Dr. Ahmad Abdel Hamid, well wishes and congratulations. Now presenting the candidates in oral and maxillofacial surgery program. Dr. Fokan Dogan. To Dr. Furkan Dogan, the Reverend Samuel and Florence Lewine Memorial Award, a certificate given by Dr. Davidson Lewine to the graduating resident who has demonstrated a high level of dedication, leadership, humane attributes, and unyielding clinical excellence in oral and maxillofacial surgery. Congratulations. Dr. Margaret Pham. To Dr. Margaret Pham. The Thomas J. Pinson Award presented to the postdoctoral oral surgery resident who has demonstrated proficiency in oral surgery techniques, high scholastic achievement, and overall clinical excellence. Congratulations. Congratulations on your awards and to all of you for reaching your goals. Please now receive our Dean, Dr. Andrea Jackson, Dean College of Dentistry. To the classes of 2020 and your families who have supported you on this journey, congratulations to the outstanding faculty and staff. Thank you and congratulations to each of you for preparing our outstanding classes to reach this milestone. Give yourselves a round of applause. You have been through so much, but your patience, perseverance, endurance will propel you to great heights as you move forward in your careers in healthcare. This global pandemic, the unpredictable times, the virulence of the virus, and the fear and anxiety that we all have had to endure is mind boggling. But through it all, you are here. You have done it. You have completed your programs and you are moving on to lead this world to new heights because you are ready to face the challenges. Your grit, tenacity, and resilience is what this world needs now. And with your vast experiences, you are ready to lead. As President Frederick said at chapel on Senior Sunday, you are our hope and the torch bearers of the new beginning. You will change the world in many ways as we have known, we have new realities that we must react to. Nothing will prevent us from doing our life's work. We now must take additional safety precautions to continue to provide service to others. This pandemic will give you a platform to fulfill your mission and you are well prepared. We are proud of all of our graduates today Proud of our supportive families as well. This is ambitious, yes, but I am convinced that a Howard University graduate is uniquely poised to do this necessary work. Our history records it, our changing world demands it. 
and we will rest on and trust in our higher power to bring us all together, bring us through this all together. You have been well trained and the value of this Howard University education is second to none. There are many broad shoulders upon which you stand. We as alumni are very proud of our institution and we are very proud of you because we know you are capable. Always remember to uphold your integrity and your reputation you carry because you carry the reputation of this institution and all of its alumni. Also remember that this is just the very beginning of a career of lifelong learning. Be sure and stay current so that you can maintain the exceptional high quality patient-centered evidence-based care that you provide to your patients. I wish you all nothing but the best in your future endeavors and I know that you will be successful. But remember us, visit often, give back and lift up those who are striving to be where you are. You are our future leaders in healthcare. And as Dr. Martin Luther King said, and I quote, of all the forms of inequity, injustice in healthcare is the most shocking and inhumane. You must be the champions and advocates for healthcare for all. Keep striving for excellence. Welcome to the profession of dentistry. Congratulations and Godspeed. Now, please stand and join us virtually so that you can recite the dentist pledge along with me. Will any dentist or dental students pleasant, uh, present please also join in with us? Okay, we will begin. I, state your name. I, Danny Bashar. I, I, Jennifer Johnson. As a member of the dental profession, shall keep the relationship. Our primary responsibility is to be patient. Rebecca Bibbon. I am a And I shall dedicate myself to the oral health care and to make a relationship. Read along with me. <laughs> that one that I oh, shall accept the responsibility I that as a professional. I skill in the arts and sciences of dentistry. That I acknowledge my obligation to support and sustain the honor and integrity of the profession and to conduct myself in all endeavors such that I shall merit the respect of patients colleagues, and my community. I further commit to the of my community. That I shall faithfully observe the principles of ethics and code of professional conduct by the profession. All this I pledge with pride in my commitment to the profession and the public it serves. I heard being, being read over um, this virtual environment, but I'm sure that it was meaningful and please take it to heart. Now in closing, I want the graduates to to remain standing and face your families if they're there with you and give them a huge round of applause and thank them for their support 
and sacrifice through your ups and downs over the span of your programs. I would now like to ask you to join me in acknowledging those responsible for this virtual program. Dr. Salter, Ms. Denise Jones, Dr. Tanya Greenfield, Ms. Yolanda Graves, D2 student Jade Lopez, and all of the members of this planning committee for an outstanding job. They have worked tirelessly in coordination and this has been a wonderful event to celebrate you. In closing, I would like to say, please tune in tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. for the virtual conferring of degrees by the university. The College of Dentistry graduates will have their respective degrees and certificates conferred by the president and board of trustees of Howard University. And remember, I do hope that you return to campus on Mother's Day weekend in 2020 as a, as a Howard University alum to take your much deserved walk across the stage. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. We will conclude the program with the alma mater. So please stand and sing and sway along as we will be led by Dr. Salter. Dr. Salter, where are you?
too. We hope that you all have, we hope that you all have enjoyed the virtual honors and award convocation. At this time, we will now transition into our D4 white coat presentation, which is held annually for the students who are receiving the doctorate of dental degree. So in about three minutes, so take a few minutes to hug your family, grab some snacks, a few drinks, and come on back to the screen and we will enter into the space for our white coat ceremony. Then Jackson. I love you guys so much with all my heart. I really do. Then Jackson. Yes. Okay, do you still need me? Huh? Do you still need me? I still need you? Mm -hmm. I always need you. <laughs> <laughs> because I want to get those reports to you by tonight. If I oh, can. go ahead. Go, go right on. Uh, what I have noticed what people have turned in is um, they still not putting the answers under the questions. And what okay. I want to avoid is that, that you have to look at how the code uh, exam is going to look at it. When they okay. ask the question, they want to see the answer. They yeah, want to ask mm -hmm. questions and then have to figure out if they Okay. I'll get on it. Okay. Turn off my video. in the dentistry in the EMV area. Thank you to my parents and to my family for supporting me. Congratulations! Congratulations, Dr. Ola! Congratulations! Congratulations! Congratulations, Dr. Ola! Congratulations, Dr. Ola! Congratulations, Dr. Ola! Andy, your mother and I are extremely proud of you. God has given you the wings to fly. We and Howard University have only strengthened those wings for you. Use them well. Use them to fly to the highest top of the mountains. We love you. Congratulations, Dr. Andy Apabio. <laughs> Congratulations, Dr. Andy Apabio. We love you. Hey, Andy. Thanks for always being such a great role model and a great big brother. Congrats, Doc. I'm right behind you. Hi, Andy. Congratulations on your graduation. You've met us up, and we are super, super proud of you. May God continue to bless the island in you. Hi, my name is Andy Kendani, I'll class of 2020. Upon graduation, I'll be attending Louisiana State University to complete a general practice residency. First of all, I'd like to thank God, my mom, my dad, my sister, all of my friends, professors who believed in me and made it possible to get to this point. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Arlena Smarter, and I am happy to announce that in July 2020, I'll be starting an AEG program at the Pink Oaks Community Health Center in Bangor, Maine. I am so happy we finally made it, and congratulations to everyone. Hi, my name is Naila Azam, 
and after graduation, I'll be starting an AGD residency with NYU Langone in Dover, New Jersey. Thank you so much to my parents, family, and friends for all you've done to support me over the years. I really couldn't have done this without you. Thanks. <laughs> My mother, my sister, for being my support system in my rock, and the two brothers for always giving me like a little bit of person that could be down. Thank you. Hi, my name is Rebecca Devo. After graduation, I will be going to Howard University Hospital as an oral and exclamation surgeon resident. I would like to thank my family and friends for being such a strong support system and pillar throughout my journey. Thank you. School of Dentistry, Orthodontics Residency. I would like to thank God, friends, and family for making this journey possible. Congratulations, John Hopkins. You well deserved success. We are so very proud of you. May God continue to bless you on your career path and your future endeavors. Congratulations, John Come on. 
Claudia from Born to Be Joy Tech Best and live here in Stafford, Virginia. I'm very grateful for my wonderful mom, husband, and wonderful children for supporting me throughout dental school. Thank you so much. Congratulations, congratulations Dr. Akia Everett. Congratulations. Major congratulations to you, Dr. Akia Everett. Her work pays off. We are so proud of you. I'm Dr. Akia Everett. I will be attending to Nostra Community Health Clinic in Bangor, Maine. Thank you to my family and friends for supporting us over the years. Hello, my name is Obama Azeji. I'll be furthering my career in Houston, Texas at Ashley Dental. First and foremost, I'd like to give thanks to God for forgiving me, waking me up every day, and making me, getting me to this point. I'd also like to thank Dr. Salter and Dr. Grant Mills, and also Dean Fryer for everything they've done as far as guidance, mentorship throughout these past few, few years. And God bless. Congratulations on your graduation, and I would like to make Proust, Shante, Salute, Kanpai, Chin Chin, Mabuhai, and cheers to your success. I love you. Kisses. My name is Christina Fabi. I am beginning a general practice residency at UPMC Presbyterian Dental Center in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thank you to my family and friends for supporting me. Hi, uh, I'm Andrew Farag. I will be starting my general practice residency at New York Presbyterian Brooklyn Methodist Hospital. And I would like to say thanks to my parents, family, and friends for supporting me. Hi, my name is Naida Farouk, and I will be working in Woodbridge, Virginia. Thank you, parents and family, for supporting me throughout my journey. And first and foremost, I would like to thank God, my mother, for supporting me from the very beginning, my fiance for encouraging me to do my best, and my family for always being there for me. Thank you. Congratulations, Dr. Brittany Jeanette Giles. We're sending you congratulations from Jersey and Pennsylvania. Congratulations, Brittany. Oh. Congratulations to my fiance, Whitney Giles. You worked so hard, you followed your dreams, and now you're a dentist. I am so proud of you, and I love you so much. My name is Robbie Herman. I'll be attending University of Detroit Mercy graduate program in orthodontics. I'd like to thank my family and my parents for all their support.
My name is Helena Hussein. I'll be working as an Associate General Dentist at Powell Dental Group in Sterling, Virginia. I would like to thank my father, my fiance, and family for supporting me. Dear Father, that I love you, congratulations, and your graduation. And I wish you a richest blessing. Thank you. Anchan, I'm so proud of you. I had faith in you, and I had faith in God that he would see you through. And you did your part, and I just want to say congratulations. You did great, and the sky is the limit. Love you. Happy graduation, Mom. I'm so proud of you. We finally did it. Love you, Mom. Bye. Hi, I'm Kumbul Giovanni, and um, I will be practicing in Houston, Texas. I would like to thank my parents, my family, and most importantly, my husband, without whom I could not have done this. Thank you so much. Hi, Komal. Congratulations on your graduation. We love you, Komal. We are proud of you, Komal. Congratulations, Betty Kendra. I am graduation. Congratulations, Sister Johnson. We love, I mean, Dr. Johnson. Put some respect on her name. We love you. I 
congratulations. 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 Thank you. 
Congratulations to Rocky Mount, Virginia, to our daughter, Dr. Dana Mooville, on your graduation from Pasadena. We are proud of you and love you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
starting in Octave's residency in July in Florida at the University of Florida's Mississippi. So let's go Gators! My name is Moisa Rajan and I am going to a private practice in the DC metropolitan area. Thank you so much to my family and friends for supporting. We made it. Moisa, I'm so proud of you and very happy to share this day with you. A very happy graduation to you. We all know how hard you worked for this. Congratulations, Moisa. Congratulations, Major King. Wish we could celebrate with you. Congrats. Congratulations, Moisa. We love you. We're so proud of you. Hey, Moisa, congratulations. All that hard work paid off. I want you to go out and work. Go, go, girl. Congratulations on this big day. All the hard work is now paid off, and you shall soon be out there in the field and doing what you are trained to do. Hi, Moisa. We are mom and dad, congratulating you on your success. All credit goes to you for your hard work. May Allah give you more success in your life. Congratulations, Daddy! I really admire your commitment and discipline to suit us. Congratulations, Daddy! Congratulations, Daddy! Hello, my name is John Devani. On graduation, I'm going to be at UCLA at Los Angeles, California for a general practice residency. First off, I would like to thank God, my family, my mom, my grandma for calling me seven times a day, and all the professors that guided me to us this way. Thank you. the dental office of Advanced Total Dental Care in Burtonsville, Maryland. Thank you to my family for supporting me. President Deion Sanders, your mission is to become a doctor of kidney surgery. Friends and support with Justin Deion Sanders, doctor of dental surgery. Congratulations to your Hi, my name is Justin Sanders, and I will be relocating to Charlotte, North Carolina, where I'll be practicing dentistry. So, first, I thank God, my parents, family, and friends who supported me all these years. I really feel the village, and I thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Tuan Ta, and I will be doing my general practice residency at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. Thank you to all my family, friends, faculties, and colleagues at HUCD for believing me since day one and for helping me reach this special milestone. I could not have done without you all. Thank you.
name is Rachel Williams. After graduation, I will be joining the private practice of Todd Hickman, DDS, General Dentistry in Chestertown, Maryland as an associate. I wanted to thank my mom, my dad, my brother, my grandparents, and my fiance Dave for all their constant love and support throughout the past four years. I also wanted to thank my classmates, my professors, and my mentor, Dr. Ryman, for all of their help throughout the past four years. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thanks so much. Happy graduation, everybody, and good night. Both of you all going to the virtual ceremony tomorrow. We're proud of you. Take care. Stay in touch. All right, thank you. Thank you, Doc. MVP. Thank you, Dr. Salter. Thank you. Thank you.